I think of life as a series of adventures. And each adventure prepares you for another adventure further down the road. So this whole farming thing for me is a bit of an adventure. And my new plan is to try and build a doghouse for Tandy, and that's going to be a massive adventure. So the wind is blowing like mad outside. Um, so I am sitting here planning a dog house and I've worked out it's going to be 110 centimeters length, which is about 42 inches. The width will be about 71 centimeters, which I think is about I don't know, 20, 28 inches? I don't know, something like that. I'm not too good with inches. I've only ever used um, centimeters. And so the height, 76 centimeters, will be at the back, which is about 30 inches, I think. And um, the front is going to be, I'm going to make it 10 centimeters higher so that the roof will have a bit of a slope for the rain. So this is just like a little floor plan and I've worked out like the back, the front. Um, so when I, at the top, I might try and miter it with my miter saw. I'm not too sure, but I've worked out. So this is just for, for the frame. Obviously the panels um, will be, some will, be 110 others will be um what are the sides again 71 um and then in the front i first had that i'm just going to need two 86 centimeter um pieces of wood but then i remembered i'm going to have to do like a little door area so that'll be <laughs> three so I guess I've got my little plan, I worked out my measurements, and it's time to go and cut some wood. So I decided not to use this, the good quality wood and um, look for thicker bits of this that I can use just to create the frame. So um, this is just to sort of put together like a little frame and I've actually got, I've marked it all um, with the measurements that I'm going to need um, and I've actually um, marked off more than I need so that I can actually have more pieces in to strengthen it because I will be attaching some of those panels onto it to make the sides etc that's my plan let's hope it's gonna work
Now to screw this frame together. If you don't learn from your adventure, then all it is, is a missed opportunity. So because I am using these off cuts, my dog kennel frame base is a little bit wonky. And I don't know why some of these screws don't want to go in. Um, I might take them out and then just try and pre-drill or something. Uh, either that or bash them with a hammer. But uh, the kennel is taking shape. We've almost got a base. You can see Oreo is eating there next to Chris. This is actually the first time Oreo has actually been eating grain in days. I mean, they still sort of like push each other away, but I can see Oreo's got a straw on him, which means he slept in the pig house with the others last night. So yesterday's standoff that they were doing, um, they seem to be over it and friends now. Happy family.
but I'm still going to be moving these two girls out from here and I might just leave this as with Oreo, Chris and George. But we'll have to, because <clears throat> I haven't got a battery on this fence either so this fence isn't electrified at the moment even though the wire is up so I'll have to um, get this battery charged to be able to keep Oreo in for when girls come into heat again Oh my goodness, I love that. Look at Maggie smiling. Yes, Maggie, you're giving me a grin. You're giving me a grin. Yes, all of you. You wanting some treats? Oh, Maggie, I just love your beautiful smile. The most beautiful smile. Bag of dog food, check. The wind is absolutely howling through the kitchen, so it's making it <laughs> quite hard to even just boil the kettle. It's taking a lot longer because the wind, as you can see, keeps blowing the flames all over the show. So my power is out again, went out last night. Um, so I'm going to run the generator just now to give it a bit of charge, but yeah, just using gas in the kitchen is a problem at the moment because of the wind. But as always, even in this howling wind and drizzle, one must focus on the positive. I have a cottage that is lovely, warm, dry, albeit a little bit dark. And I have a roof over the kitchen even though the wind can howl in so at least I'm not getting wet and the rain is good for the land so these are all very very positive things I'm trying to boil some potatoes for the pigs look at the wind blowing this gas flame everywhere and then so many people have said oh can't you keep the outdoor kitchen Cindy it's lovely no <laughs> the pot isn't even getting hot so uh, I think I'm wasting my time with this I'll try again later just come to feed the pigs and Oreo is back in with these other girls. How the hell is he doing this Houdini in and out of pens? Thank you Sandy in Ohio. Two cherry trees. Thanks again to um, those who bought fence posts. We'll be building more fencing. Thank you very, very much. You guys are awesome. Happy, oh, you're a good girl. Come sit, sit. Wait, ah, uh, sit, wait, wait. Good girl. Right, so we've set out 
Where are the avocados? There's a whole lot of avocados. I've still got more avocados, but these are the ones that are going to be going into this area. I thought I'd show you how much fuller the well is after the rain of the last couple of days. Oh my goodness, Tandy, racing here. But the level's gone up quite a lot and this water is so clear. These rocks are always so imposing. This is the little no dig bed and you can see the weeds are coming back. So this has got to be weeded again. So no dig does not necessarily stop weeds. Three days of online work and lots of wind and rain. And then I had another adventure. Está assinalado por luzes de emergência, faixas refletoras junto ao chão. Para mais informações, incluindo a operação da chita. like during coffee break running a workshop it's been quite a busy week with um, online work and then traveling away to um, go and do a workshop but there is a limit to what you can do when the weather is so windy and so wet outside. So hopefully better weather the next week and um, I can get the doghouse finished. So in the meantime, keep safe, keep sane and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.